she said. <coughs> Just doing a little mole. A little reconnaissance on some mole ac activity here in the yard. There's so many moles around here every year. I mean, I've gotten pretty good at this. I can uh, just kind of walk up on them and if I see movement, I grab a shovel, scoop them up. Uh, I try not to harm it or, or kill it. I just do it. Take it out of my yard, put it in the dirt with some, a bucket with some dirt in it and take them to a new location. You know, he's probably just a regular mole, you know, just, you know, digging tunnels, you know, eating, eating bugs and grubs and worms and shit, you know, like moles do, you know. He's just like, maybe he's just on his way to work, I don't know. He's just digging a tunnel on, on his way to work, you know, and I just interrupted his whole fucked up, you know, fucked up his whole shit. <laughs> People never think, they don't, people don't really think about animals and stuff, you know. I mean, they probably think about a lot more stuff than we think they do, you know. You ever see a dog? They, you know they're dreaming, you know, because they're like trying to run and shit, and, you know, they bark and, and in their sleep and shit. It's pretty cool to watch, but... So if they're dreaming, like we dream, what's the point of that, right? So dogs, at least we know, have third eye like we do the mind's eye right what you see in your mind when some de describes something to you if somebody says a word to you that are you seeing that with your two eyes no you're seeing that with that third eye in your mind it's how we construct things in our mind and how we perceive it that's what makes our reality you know? I mean, it makes perfect sense. I get it. I mean, I, I get it. If you think of the world and as in this universe as they tell us it is, it makes sense, even though it doesn't make sense, right? Somehow we rationalize the fact that we're allegedly spinning at thousands of miles per hour but we just can't feel it there's no proof of that it's just all you know it's just theory but they tell us that we're not spinning so we think we're not spinning I don't I've never actually believed that we weren't I just it's not even about me man it's like it, it really still blows my mind that, that we can be so easy. I mean, just fooled into thinking things we don't really even believe. Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just, it, I don't know, man. You guys, it, this just gets harder and harder. It's like the more I find out, the more I, I can tell, I want to tell other people, but they don't want to hear it, you know? They don't, my, my brother is a perfect example, you know? He does not like hearing about any of the stuff I have to say. He's, he's perfectly content. He'll tell you himself, he's content the way things are. And I'm like, well, okay, if, if, if everybody is happy, and they're cool with everything. What, what's my deal? Why don't I just go along with it like I always have? Is you, how can you, man? How can you do that? How can you just go on thinking, I just can't do it. I can't live my life knowing the shit I know the way I used to live it. You know? Everything's more important now. Everything just makes more sense now. I mean, thank God for wisdom, man. Thank God. I, wisdom is awesome. 
I never thought it would be this cool. I, I, I love it. I enjoy it. I mean, it is great. I mean, it's like, that must be what it's like to be a god. You just, you've been around so long, you just know everything. Like Bill Murray said in that movie, Groundhog Day. Yeah. Because with experience comes wisdom. I mean, lessons learned, you know, and that can be taught. That's a fucking gift, man. But we don't do that anymore, it doesn't seem like. I try to, you know. I thought I did a great job raising my kid, which I think, you know, she's a very cool, very cool kid, very cool. Beautiful, young, intelligent lady. And I thought I did everything right, which maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But, you know, she's still got some issues, you know. I mean, she's, I mean, the, the other parts of this world that are impressing upon our minds and skewing our thoughts, and uh, it just gets harder to explain. You know? That's what I end up saying. I, I can't explain it, you know, because what's the point? I see these videos and shit, you know, on YouTube about chosen ones, you know. You know, if you're watching this video, you were chosen, you know, well, what the fuck ever, dude. What, nobody would choose me to be some sort of messenger or some sort of guide. I don't know, because I, I don't. I've never had that much motivation or that much drive to be uh, you know, some sort of figurehead that people would listen to. And, uh, I don't know what is driving me at all. I just know. God, it's, it's just hard to explain, just like I was saying. Uh, I damn sure don't feel like I've been gifted with anything. But I just seem to know stuff that I don't know how I know it. And it makes perfect sense to me, even though I don't have all the, you know, the, the, the details and the rules of it. What I'm doing right now, you guys, is, I, is I'm saying what I'm thinking, which we do all day. We think things all day, right? So I'm, I'm just saying what my brain is thinking about keeping it focused on, you know, one topic, because I'm thinking about other stuff too, but we don't, you know, how many people are going to listen to my, somebody just spout off all day about different shit, I think that's what happens to a lot of people that seem to have woken up or whatever, maybe they're, you know, of course they're perceived as crazy, and that's what everybody you're supposed to think that anybody that has any questions is, must be insane. Which, you know, good job, because they've done a good job of making it, convincing everybody of that. You know? That's no shit. But, so I'm just walking around my yard. You know? Just looking for moles and shit. I've got this YouTube channel now. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to be for me or anybody. But it seems to be, even though it doesn't, I don't really know what I'm doing. It, it's doing kind of well. It's doing pretty good. Uh, I mean, I don't have any, I'm not making any money or anything, but I mean, it'd be nice. I mean, it's great I'm getting a, some, some views on some of my, my comedy that I do, my own original weird-ass thinking mind that I come up with. <coughs> but then I've got these videos that I make like this, you know, where I just strap a camera to my, it's actually just my phone, to my, to my belt that I'm wearing anyway, so. Uh, and I just say out loud what I'm thinking about it. I'm 
try to make it sense, make sense to, to whoever's watching. Because if you want to get down to the nuts and bolts of everything, you know, what the fuck are we here for? What, at the, what is the point of any of this? How in the hell, you know? But other people tell me, man, you need to think smaller, dude. You need to think smaller. I'm like, why would you think smaller? You know, why would you not? How could you just like... I don't know. That's what I mean about waking up. I mean, you either wake up or you don't, I guess. And I think the people that have woken up are having a tough time con convincing anyone that's been beat down by the system since they were in preschool. It, you cannot change people's minds because they are so, it's so embedded in, in their minds they can't possibly conceive of anything being other than what they were told it was. Right? So if you look at, you know, Plato's, you know, allegory, you know, uh, fucking people were born into captivity, right? And chained to a wall. And the only reality that they ever knew was what was presented to them. Okay, because they were born into that shit. Right? So the powers that be would have shadow puppets on the walls and that's the only reality that they, it was those shadows that was their reality whatever those shadows were doing that was their reality there was nothing else there's nothing outside of that there weren't people you know making the shadows with puppet sick puppets and you know to them that's all there was and if you try to convince them that there was really an actual outside world and all you had to do was take those chains off and go outside, they would kill you to defend their belief that this is all there was. And I hope I'm making sense. But it's so, so highly possible that of course there's got to be another dimension, right? I mean, well, how could there not be? If everything is about balance, which I figured that out a long time ago. I'm like, what's the meaning? Oh, well, balance has so much to do with it. I don't know everything, but of course it's balance. You know, how can you, you can't have one without the other, period. That's just the way it is. You know? Or at least right now, that's the way I think, that's just the way it is. It could very possibly be 